Hi everyone. In our previous sessions, we have learned how to create update sets and how to use update sets to export or import any updates from one instance to another instance. And we have also learned how to move update sets using export or import XML options or using update sources. So in this session, we'll learn what type of errors occurs when moving an update set from one instance to another instance and how to rectify that errors, okay? So we'll take two instances, for example, uh, this will be dev, that is PDI 94461 will be act as a developer instance and this PDI dev 149131 acts as a production environment. Just This is for just one example. So let's navigate to local update sets and let's create a new update set. Here we'll create a new update set in the dev. So just naming it as demo update set and submitting and making it a current update set to capture any updates made to the system. Okay. So just check uh, the update set has been set to the current or not. Yeah, it is set to the current update set. Now I'm taking incident table as an example. So let's navigate to incident table and I'm writing a client script here. Just a demo client script. So naming it as demo client script and type is on load. So I just want to alert a message when the page is loaded, when the incident is loaded. So testing update set. So I'm just giving it as a name as testing update set. So just submit this and check how it is working. So just go back to the incident record and check on loading it is performing or not. Yes, you can see the alert message is appeared here. Now go back to the update set and just come finish mark it as complete and move it to the production environment and check. Okay, so I've just marked it as completed and saying that. So as we have discussed earlier, we can just export it to the XML file and we can download it. And then we can retrieve it in the production environment using retrieved update sets module. Okay. So here you can see retrieved update sets for a module in the production. Just click import update set from XML and you can choose the downloaded file here. By doing this, you can get the update set imported to this instance. Okay. So here you can see the update is update set is loaded and you have to preview this update set before committing it. So after Previewing this update set. See, you don't didn't find any errors or warnings here. So you can commit the update set now. So once we commit the update set, it will be imported that particular client script to this instance. So just go to the incident table and check how it is working. So here we have to get an alert. Yes, we are getting that alert. So just go to that. Client script and check. See, here is the demo client script which is imported from the another instance. Okay, so now what will happen is we'll make some changes to this update for this client script and we'll check what type of errors occurs when we import another update set. So let's change this alert as, uh, otherwise, we can add one more message alert of test two okay i'm alerting another message here so this is production environment okay as you can see the dev 149131 is a production environment just assume as a production environment so here i have saved another alert message here so now when you load the form you'll get two alert messages in this particular environment as you can see here the first one and the second one now we'll go back to the developer instance and here We'll create a new update set to check how what type of errors will occur when we move another update set. So let's create another update set. So just name it as demo update set name two, and just make it current, and just reload and check whether it's loaded or not. Uh, 
as you can see it is demo object set two now just go to the flight script again in the developer environment and just edit this okay just edit this with some message and save this once it is captured in the demo object set just move it to the production environment okay see here it is captured now just make it complete and the same way export it to the xml once the file is downloaded you can go to the production environment here you can go to retrieved object sets okay here just load that by importing that update set the newly downloaded one this is the newly downloaded one so just upload it now here you can see the demo update set is first we have imported this to import that particular client script second we have made some changes in the production environment to the client script and afterwards we have imported another update set carrying that particular client script in the develop, develop, development environment okay so let's try previewing this so when you try to preview this here you can see an error record so just read the message preview problems for demo update set 2 one error 0 1 is to commit this subject set you must address all problems so first we need to close this uh, uh, warning message and we have to navigate to the update set preview problems related list so here you can see there is an error just check the error here we have some available actions so you have this error has been occurred because we have some other version of the same client script in the in this instance and the update set containing that client script from another instance is coming with some some with other version okay so first we need to compare we have some, some options here so we have compare with local show local record show local update accept remote update skip update so first we have to compare with the local one local one means the one which is in the uh, present production environment the example production environment and the other one is which is imported from the developer develop development instance okay so here you can see when you try to compare these two updates you can find there some highlighted area will be there which has been made to the update okay so when you check that here you can see comparing two updates script here you have local update and the other one is remote update so you can find that in the local update there is some lines added to this particular client script and from the remote update you don't see any changes but just the one number is added in the this thing so based on your use case whatever the requirements you are developing so based on that you need to decide whether you have to accept or skip the remote update okay so for that if you need the update which is coming from the development instance the new update you can click here under the action you can click accept remote update so that the one which is imported from the uh, developer instance latest that will copy to the instance that will import it to this instance otherwise you can skip the remote update which means the whatever the version now in this in this production environment it will be remains same okay so let's accept the remote and check how it is behaving okay so i have clicked accept remote update here so the one which is updated later in the development instance that will be reflected here so just reload the form and check so as you have clicked accepted so this you have to first commit the update set okay so once you have addressed the problem you just need to commit update set then it will be applied to the system okay see here you can see after skipping that the uh, update set commitment is, has been completed now just go to that particular incident and refresh and check as you can see the update from the developer instance the latest update has been imported here so this way you can just differentiate between two update sets and whatever the use case you are working on based on that you can skip or act, accept the updates and you can solve the errors so in our upcoming videos we will discuss more on update set scenarios thank you